Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we have Performance Sedan Monday and if you are new to the channel, on Monday I go through Performance Sedans and all the options and accessories they came with. Then I compare them with each other. Today we have a car that many people hate and some love. Yes, today we are talking about the Maserati Ghibli. We are talking about a car that hasn't changed much since 2013 when it was first introduced. It received the biggest change when on 2020 they introduced the V8. But how much is Maserati asking for this twin turbocharged V8 in 2021? We will find that out together. But we, before we start, let's take a look at our chart and to some performance sedans that the Maserati Ghibli is going to compete with. Here we have our chart with performance sedan. These are 18 cars that I've uh, currently done videos on. Uh, you can uh, watch each one of them. I will link down below the, the playlist where all these cars are. Uh, are, uh, are in my channel so as you can see we have from the charger that takes the first place to the BMW M3 competition that takes the last uh, the reason why these cars uh, are from the first to the last is because uh, at the end after I add all the accessories and uh, options and packages to them then I compare them dollar per horsepower which gives me a price how much would you pay per horsepower for this car so I'm gonna do the same thing for the the Ghibli today uh, and then uh, see what place does it take uh, in our chart as you can see uh, the, the Dodge Charger comes to $120 uh, worth uh, you will pay for a, do a horsepower per dollar and then the BMW uh, has a $216 uh, dollar per horsepower so now let's take a look at the Ghibli and add all the packages and uh, accessories that Maserati offers you so here we have all the uh, Ghiblis that they offer. We want to go with the most uh, performance oriented one, which is the Trofeo, who comes uh, with the V8 and with 580 horsepower. And as you can see here, it starts at $112,000. It's insane how expensive this uh, sedan is. And we're just getting started we haven't added any special color or any uh, 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 wheels or packages or accessories so now we're gonna go and pick go through basically everything that I offer you and, and build it out to the, to the maximum so first we have the exterior colors uh, so we are presented with a non-metallic which is included and then we have metallic colors which uh, will call, cost you a thousand and two hundred dollars and then uh, the most expensive one it's the last one which is uh, Bianco Alpi which that uh, this color will cost you two thousand seven hundred dollars where everything else will cost you a thousand and two hundred so of course we're gonna go with the most expensive one uh, which is the Bianco Alpi for $2,700 so now we are sitting at $100,015,400 uh, that is crazy anyway uh, next we're gonna go to the wheels we have some 19 some 20s uh, sorry some 20 inch wheels here and then uh, with a Trofeo we have standard the 21 but if we want this uh, other ones they will cost you $400 more next we're gonna go to the brake calipers uh, the Trofeo comes with a gloss red painted brake calipers uh, which are included and then if you want to change uh, the color on them it's gonna cost you $500 and for this red one it will cost you a thousand and five hundred which uh, apparently changes the brakes uh, as well uh, basically matte red and anodized brakes so that, that's gonna cost you a thousand and five hundred dollars next let's go to our interior so as you can see on the interior they they made some differences basically they just added a, uh, a huge screen in the middle which most of the manufacturers are doing now uh, if they're not redesigning the car they basically just putting a bigger screen 
So here we have some different interiors and they have no extra charge on them. So you can go with any of them. And I'm gonna go with this red because it looks pretty cool. That's no, no additional charge on them. And here we have dashboard, you can choose that. It's, we only have one option here, which is the red. Then we have the carpet. We have only one option for the carpet. Then the steering wheel, which is full leather, one option as well. And then on the headliner, it gives us two options. It gives us Grigio, which is gray. And I like that. I think it, it looks better. So I'm gonna go with that. So no additional charge here. Next we have the trim. We can have a gloss piano black or we can go with the carbon fiber. So I'm gonna just stick with the carbon fiber. No additional charge as well here. Now we are in the packages. So here they offer us uh, an interior carbon fiber package which is $1,100 which includes the carbon fiber uh, column mounted pedal shifters and the carbon fiber door uh, seals. So that's gonna cost you $1,100. Next, we have the climate package, which is $700. The package contains uh, the heated windshield washer nozzles, the heated rear seats and the power rear uh, sun blades. So that's $700, that's not so bad. And next we have options. So here we have the audio system option, which this card doesn't come with it included. You have to add it as an option, which is $2,500. So what do you guys think? This car started at $100,012. You know, $112,000. Should it had all these packages included, like the music and and some other ones? And comment down below that. Let me know about your opinion. But anyway, let's continue here. Uh, we have the Alcantara headliner and fillers. If you want that, it will cost you a thousand dollars. And then you want power adjustable foot pedals. That's four hundred dollars. And here we have. Uh, rear arm armrest with illuminated storage and USB port and a 12 volt outlet for $140 okay interesting this is included this is not available let's see some more options and Maserati driving experience that's they don't really show you how much that is but you can add it, I guess, it will cost you nothing. And then if you want all season tires, that's 60 bucks. And then here we have a rear laminated glass for 300. And then at the end, we have a full carbon fiber kit for $2,500. These are all the options and accessories to our Maserati now. So we are sitting in a, at $125,000 and plus the 600 in the end. So $125,600 for the, the Maserati Ghibli here. Uh, that's a big gamble to buy this car because Every used one in the market nowadays it sells for thirty to forty thousand dollars, so they lose a lot of value. But anyway, uh, now let's go to our chart and see how it compares with the other uh, performance sedans in our list. So here we have our 2022 Maserati Ghibli Trofeo, who came with 580 horsepower, 
a base price of $112,700. We added $12,900 worth of options and accessories and packages, all the goodies you can add, which it came to a total price of $125,600. So basically, if you go on a configurator, you cannot get a more expensive Ghibli than this. Then I uh, did the calculations and uh, took, took the price to $270 per horsepower. So basically, if you want the highest spec Ghibli, uh, Maserati Ghibli, you will be paying $217 per horsepower for that car. Where, you know, on the other list, if you get the Charger, which is the, you know, the takes the first place in our list, you would pay $120. And yes, you can say, you know, Ghibli is a luxury car as well, but the charger has 797 horsepower so um, you can decide yourself uh, comment down below which which one of these cars would you pick i'm very curious to know i also want to thank you guys so much for watching uh, this video and thank you for liking it and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel it really helps me out to uh, be better and uh, make better content for you guys i really want to build a community when where we can discuss and uh, talk about our passion for uh, automotive. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next video.